Hello, I'm Sanzi. It's a gossip girl. Taki did an Instagram question and answer. People kept on asking him questions about his relationship with my KK because they clashed a lot. And you will be surprised how he answered most of the questions. He did not answer any questions about him and no, which is a good thing, you know, to keep social media out of your relationship if they still a relationship. And also for obvious reasons, he doesn't want to trend, you know, and also to keep his relationship with the neo from the public. So he answered a lot of questions about his personal growth, about his plans, you know, and all of that. So I'm saying, see, I also inserted a Papa Go's question and answer from Instagram, which he didn't really answer. He just texted back, you know. So basically with Papa Ghost, him and Yolanda, they're good, you know. And I'm glad that Papa Ghost shared this clip of him and Yolanda you know and he does not regret the character that he played in the big brother's house he said that you guys are forgetting one thing that you know what the theme was siamosha you know so i like mina personally i like papa ghost um character and personality uh moreover out of the house because you know Papa goes is someone that is focused he's not malicious he's an he's older than all of the housemates so he does not beef with anyone that i can tell you he does not beef with anyone and he did not answer any questions where um related to Lerato Medisa. I guess they're also trying to protect their relationship. But they've been together getting tattoos, going on vacations, this and that. You'll just only see snippets, you know, every time you go onto his Instagram um stories. And you know Papa Goes is like um a family man, you know, uh for lack of a better word, him and Andile Ngube and the sister, they pretty much close everything they do, you know, everything. They just, you know, they do it together. They do it together. His life is centered around his family, you know. They're very much close. Anyway, I'm saying, let me not waste any of your time. At the end of the video, please do not forget to like, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so that whenever I upload any videos pertaining to the Big Brother housemates, you guys do not miss anything. Bye-bye, I'm -bye, <laughs> It's been interesting. <laughs> it's been interesting. It's something nobody can ever prepare you for like as much as they can say hey, do this now nah, dude dude no one can prepare you for life outside that house or even life inside that house like there's no training dog like it's yo but i'm enjoying it yes sir we did quite quickly actually like as soon as uh top six were out of the house um and then i saw them at the hotel peace Peace. Shout out to peace. Peace wins at the end. Now it was lit, bro. Bro, a movie. Please prank call housemates. Eh, fam. <laughs> Can I tell you the trauma prank calls have given me in my lifetime? Mm. I remember I did them once, yo, bro. <laughs> hey, askies. <laughs> Not the one. <laughs> Maybe if I'm feeling like, nah, I'm not the one. I'm not the one. I hate prank calls. Yo. I rated a nine. A strong nine. A strong nine. Yeah, a strong nine. It was, it was lit. It was lit. Now, it is fun. No, like, you do have a lot of fun there. Like, meeting different people, turning up, the outfits. I really like the outfits. Stuff like that is dope. But also, your high key, like, fighting for survival, dude. Remember? It's like, Everyone's trying to win something. So it does feel like it's a dog eats dog world sometimes. Yeah, man. It's yeah, you gotta be strong, Shim. <laughs> you gotta be strong. Like, fam, when when we had to eat rice with spice, stuff like that, dude. Like, hmm. <laughs> Yo, you know what? For these ones, I'm actually going to expose y'all. I'm going to tag y'all. Bro. Bro. <laughs> Person I trust the least in Mafia, the game of Mafia, is definitely Asanda. My gosh. Fam. And I trusted her. You know what I'm saying? And then the person who sent me this 
you are the second one I don't trust. Because you were never Mafia that time. Guys, if I was watching this, if you, if you ever play Mafia, né, that type of game can actually ruin relationships, bro. You see how Monopoly, like, ruins relationships? Mafia is that game too. Is that game. People accuse you for nothing, bro. For nothing. Eh, 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 eh. But I want to run it back. I want to run it back. I want to run it back. Knowing that there was a whole big like social media team when I came out. I was like, what? Because when I left, I left my sister and a friend in charge. To find out there was like so many people like running it, campaigning. I was just like, what the hell happened? October 11. Hey, nice to see you too, fam. Lovely to see you. A lovely, a lovely. Hope you enjoyed it. Everyone looked like really happy at my cake is homecoming. It was a vibe, guys. Gosh, I was a vibe, Shem. How would I describe Pumi in three words? Hmm. Hmm. Queen. Uh, the goat. Goat. And uh, it's not a word. It's not one word. But like a really good heart, fam. Like a really good heart. I, I gave you, I don't know how many words that was, but a really, really good heart. Future plans. Oh, oh, oh. Um, like right now, currently, I'm going to go eat soon. And then I'm going to plan my day for tomorrow. Um, watch something and then pass out. Uh, but in, in terms of other stuff, uh, yeah, I've got like some cool ideas for like my YouTube that I really want to push. And um, got some projects which I can't really speak about. That also, you know, I'm trying to cook. But man, more presenting stuff, acting stuff, content creating. You know the vibes. You know the vibes. So yeah, even like radio stuff will be cool, man. That would be dope. That would be dope. I really enjoyed being on radio the other day. So yeah. It was, uh, what did I miss the most? Um... The challenges, uh, the outfits for the party night, or some of those outfits, my boy. But yeah, man, also just some of the people, like the vibes, like I miss the vibes. Like the vibes are pretty cool every now and then. Every now and then. So yeah, that's what I miss. That's what I miss. Some of those challenges, some of those tasks. No, the, the tasks, actually, the weekly tasks. Yeah, those were dope. Those were dope. I, I, I like them. I like them. It was like fun, bro. It was like... You are just playing. You're like a kid again, you know? Like, it was... That was fun. Guys, it's a Monday. It's a Monday. But, if you must know, uh, it's the one where you open your Bible, you read it, and you turn Daza. It's called the prayer. Y'all should try it. Yo! Wow, for real, man. Hey, you know what I have like learned works best for me. Um, talking about it, the more you talk about it, the more, like the less power that thing has. Whatever is making you like tired, emotionally tired, the less and the less it stings. The more you talk about it. Also, sometimes what I'd like to do is allow myself to feel it. Like, I, like I'll like i sit in it. Dude, if I cry, I cry. If I punch my pillow, I punch my pillow. If I need to shout, like, I let myself feel what I got to feel. And actually, I have a playlist, um, like, for like that's got only sad music. And when I'm in the pits, bro, I play that thing until it just doesn't hurt as much. And then from then, you can kind of see things objectively. And then you can just see things, see things more clearly now. You know what I'm saying? I hope, I hope this helps.